And Demetrius Andrade, as you mentioned, probably the, the best fight you've been in the ring with, still undefeated even now. Um, and he's got a big fight this weekend, defending his title against his mandatory challenger WBO middleweight title uh, against Liam Williams. What made, I know it was a while ago now, but what made Andrade stand out to you? I know it's probably not something you want to relive in great detail, but what, what did you think of him? What, what stood out? Yeah, I think a lot of people think I, I don't like talking about it because of what happened. You know, it was a disaster in terms of the fight. But in terms of the experience and going to New York, um, fighting at Barclays, and it was, you know, a dream come true for me. I was mandatory for a world title. So for me, I achieved, I achieved beyond belief. You know, I never thought I'd do that. You know, I was happy with the British title. I was happy to win the Lonsdale belt outright. Um but in terms of getting in, you know, I went in there again thinking I was going to win that fight. You know, I, I really was. And a, a little story, we are in the changing room, Eddie, and the, the facts were coming up um, about each fighter. And his was, did you know Dimitri Andre, Andre was um, a world amateur champion? I was like, shit, Eddie, I didn't, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> and then mine come up and it was, did you know Brian Rose was from Blackpool? And I thought, oh. you know what? I'm in deep here. <laughs> I'm in deep. And that was the difference in fact. So when I got in there and I missed with my jab a couple of times and then ne next thing he slipped one and just come over the left hand and I was on the deck. I thought, shit, that's never happened to me before. Um, so I knew I knew I was in the world of trouble then, but I dug in there till the seventh round, did as, the best I could. Um, and, I, 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 you know, at the end of the fight, I held my hands up and said, you know, I was beat by the better man. And, um, a, bit, a little bit of stage fright on the night. You know, I, I, I was a little bit nervous and, and, and took back by it all. You know, the cameras in my faces, but it wouldn't have changed the result. What do you think is, is are his best qualities? Um, obviously, the, the angles that he throws his shots from, they come from everywhere. I, I sometimes don't even think he knows where they're coming from. So how are you supposed to know? Um, in terms of leaning back, he's not that good with his feet. You know, as mad as it sounds like, that's why I think someone like Billy Joe Saunders beats Demetrius Andre because he's quicker with his feet. I think Billy Joe Saunders would beat Andre. Um, but yeah, he leans back really good. So he gets out of distance, but he's still in range to throw a shot because he just comes back in. And that's what he's so good at. So I was falling short with my shots. He was leaning back and just coming and hitting me with all sorts of punches. Now, you think uh, Billy Joe Saunders would have the beating of Andrade. What do you make of Liam Williams' chances this Saturday? I think he's got a very good chance. I think he'll do the best out of us Brits. You know, there's me, there's Luke Keeler, mm. gone over and tried. Um, for me, I think he's in with the best shot. You know, he's in the pri prime of his career. He's, he's in the best possible shape he can be in. I just don't think he's got quite enough to beat him. But I really hope he does. And, and, you know, I, I honestly want him to go over there and win. Um, but for me, I think Demi Chandra is just that that class above and uh, he has a better pedigree. The only thing that, that, that could let Demi Chandra down is his inactivity. He's not, mm. he's not been out as much as he should, you know, whereas Williams is on a roll. You know, anyone that's been put in front of him, he's blasted out of there. So um, it'll be a good fight, really good fight. 